Hello everyone. So today I've got for you another poundshop.com haul. Um, it's quite a big haul, so I'll go through what I've got and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So please bear with me because I have to keep bending into the box. So the first one is these loaded fries in chili heat flavour. I don't think I've tried these before, so I'm looking forward to trying this and I hope it's not too like chilly. Um, next is Skinny Whip in the chocolate orange flavour. There's five in there. I've tried the mint one of these and they're really good, so I hope this is good too. I quite like chocolate orange flavour. The next is some tea bags. There's 100 tea bags in there and they're Thai food. Um, some dairy milk bars because we just haven't had them for a while. Some more Skinny Whip but in the strawberry and chocolate flavour. The Bliss Bars, which are white chocolate and raspberry flavour. Haven't tried these, so I think I did order them at some point and I couldn't get them. So I'm hoping these are good. But anything with white chocolate is pretty good. Um, look. So the next one is a Skinny Whip, the mint and dark chocolate one. Open because I've had one. <laughs> Um, these ones are really nice, I've had them before and I quite like them. Next, this is a storage basket. It's a bit smaller than I thought it would be. Um, I don't think the sizes were actually um, on the website. So, But I was intending to use them for Ishika's toys. And, but I might have to use something else along with this. Some kitchen roll. Um, by the way, just to mention, most of these things were one pound. There was a couple of things which were a bit more, maybe two pounds or four pounds. Um, this was one of them. So, this is this was four pounds, I believe. It's a mega jar of crafts. So I know it's a bit early still because it took us only seven months, so she's not going to be doing too many crafts. But I saw the saw this and I thought, why not just get it so I can keep it for later. Um, so there's things like pom poms in there, um, the pipe cleaners, like foam eggs, lollipop sticks, and foam letters, tissue paper, sequins, glitter, um, wobbly eye things as well. Um, so I thought that would be really good for her. Um, along the same lines, I got the sponge painting. This we might be able to do a bit sooner, um, maybe in the next few months, um, just to have have some messy play um, two of these tissue boxes a bit 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 squashed two of these tissue boxes i think they were two pounds next we we'll use some sticks and paprika flavor um, so we've got all of this wrapped up I think these are going to read the fuses, let me just open them. So I got one in citronella flavour, um, can't really smell it. And then somehow I've ordered two of these, I meant to order one, um, but that's fine because I'll use them. So these are in lavender flavour, lavender meadow, and they're the blue ones. The packaging is really good by the way because um, all liquids and things are all like in these plastic sealed bags. So this is a dishwasher cleaner. I've got a Dove hand cream, some Imperial leather moisturising hand wash. This is the Gangster Granny Carrot Kerex edition, this butter candy. There's some more hand wash from Raydolt. Then Cotton Clouds Ray Imperial leather again. And then sweet, sorry, Polynesian Paradise sweet and sweet peony, another um, shower gel. So there's three of those um, in there. Um, next, I have from Does It Antibacterial Wipes. There's 50 in there. And they are always useful for every little thing. Um, next is some more liquid. So I've got some duck, toilet duck, the ocean one, which smells really nice. Um, 
we've got some Viacal, but we've got the Febreze version, so it's got a nicer smell. Um, I just discovered Viacal in my last poundshop.com order, and I love it. It just um, really, really clears the lime scale and makes everything so shiny. Some other toilet cleaner with the pink from the pink stuff. And we've got some fairy liquid, which is, uh, which flavour was this one? Can be. Uh, I think it was pomegranate in something, but it's in some other language, so I can't quite make out for that one. Um, but it was some nice, nice scent then. Um, next we've got, and just to say the Viacals were £2 each. Um, so that wasn't one pound. And then we've got another Viacal, the bathroom one, which I've got currently, and it's nearly finished. Um, I, I also like the smell of this one quite a lot as well. It just smells so fresh and clean. And then we've got some more carrots and um, body wash. This one is over the rainbows. Um, so that one's quite good. Very comfy. And then there's three Domestos, which was three for two pounds, I think. And then we've got another active fresh um, toilet cleaner. So it's quite heavy. Um, and so those are all the liquidy cleaning items that I got. Um, next, I got this Dr. Dot book. I know it's early again, but I'm just collecting all of these things for when it gets a bit older. Um, so that we can, um, you know, give her things to keep her entertained and occupied and these sort of things are good to take out with you if you're at someone's house or if you're on holiday or just anywhere in general like a restaurant or something then these things keep them occupied this is another this is a printed pack um and it has six coloring pages two sheets of painting four sticker sheets and six crayons so again this is something that's quite useful to take on holiday or or just somewhere that you know just to keep them entertained for a few Maybe an hour at least. Um, and I've got a couple of those type of things. So the next one is a sticker set for the princesses. And it's got five sticker sheets and a sticker album. Um, so hopefully she'll, you know, keep entertained with this. I think stickers are probably a really good thing for when you're going away because this is something you can use on the plane or in the car, you know, when you've got a, like a table seat thing in the car seat um so you can put something up. i've seen a couple of those table craft table type things that you can probably get and put in the cars for long journeys and then this is the next one which is um a princess play pack so it's got a coloring book and then it's got a mini coloring pad and some color pencils again um, and next i've got a unicorn sticker and activity book so it has loads of stickers and it has colouring and all that sort of stuff, word searches, um, which yeah, is probably really good for their alphabet learning and things like that. Um, now, I, again, somehow I ordered two of these, but it's fine because I'm sure they'll come in handy or to give to someone or something. So these are the mosaic craft kits. So I think they've got like sort of foam mosaic and um, a, a, a picture which people which you can put them on stick them on and things like that so i think that would be quite fun for her as well and again something you can take with you if you're going somewhere and keep them occupied next i got um two sheet masks one for pink cactus with prickly pear extract and pro vitamin b5 um and then this is an avocado one and um, so I'm looking forward to just relaxing with those at some point. We've got a shopping list, a magnetic shopping list. Um, we've got a magnetic blackboard, so we keep this on there um, usually. And we've already got one at the moment, but I just thought I'd put, buy a backup in case that one runs out. And I use it to make shopping lists and things. Um, Next, we've got this one, the top seems to come off from the packaging, um, the Lenore Summer Breeze. I've heard a lot about this, it smells really good, um, and I wanted to try it out, so let's see how that works out in the wash. Um, next, we've got some Frutella um, Sour Snakes, they're gelatin-free, so they're vegan or vegetarian or um, 
yeah, so they're vegetarian. And so um, we're looking forward to trying these. Another play pack type thing is a grab and go pack. So it's got a colouring book, sticker sheet and crayons and it's from Coco Melon. And um, Ishika actually quite likes Coco Melon when, she's, when I've put it on TV for her to watch briefly. So hopefully she'll like this and again something we can take quite easily. I mean it's quite a good size. Um, so stick it in her bag or in my handbag which will be quite good. Um, next I've got some Aquafresh. Something exciting. I did order some um, baby toothpaste, but I got an email to say that that was being refunded because they didn't have it in stock. Um, so next we've got some bath crayons, which um, I don't know when I'll let her try that, but um, I thought it might be something quite fun for her in the future or in the next one or two weeks um, to just have some fun in the bath. Now she's sitting up a bit more and things, so... Um, next, I've got this cup, it's a bit bigger than I thought it would be, um, for her to try and start drinking out of, but it might be a few months before she can do that. It's just like a plastic cup, um, and yeah, it's just something for her to drink out of. I've got two of these bathroom wipes. Um, I found them quite useful when I ordered them last time, it just, it's just really, um, handy to keep in the bathroom. We've got two bathrooms, so I just ordered two, one for each bathroom. I mean, I don't know if it makes any difference and we can just use a normal antibacterial wipe. Um, so I might just do that in the future because it's probably cheaper. Although 70 wipes for a pound is not bad. Um, so yeah, um, we'll just see about that one. But uh, last time I ordered some food surface wipes for um, the high chair and I just think I probably should just use normal antibacterial wipes, which I'll be doing that when the, um, the current pack finishes now. Um, so, last two items. One is this elbow grease descaler. I like using this in my kettle, um, and I probably use it about every month or maybe every few weeks. And then last is this um, magic sort of sponge. It's a silicon sponge. Um, and I just, I'm hoping it will be quite useful in getting things out of, like, um, baking trays and, and pans and things. And it's got little suction cups so you can probably stick it up somewhere. Might use this one in the bathroom because I think I actually have something similar for the kitchen. Um, but yeah, let's see. So that was our haul. Um, most things were a pound and there's only two or three items which was the Mega Crafter jar. Mega jar of crafts was four pounds, and the fire cow was two pounds, and the domestic the bleach was two pounds for three. But that's all I can remember off the top of my head. I think everything else was a pound. Um, so yeah, it was a good haul, and I, I will definitely be shopping there again. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it gave you some ideas of what you could get. Uh, and you know, if there's um, anything you found useful that you've used from this haul, then please comment and let me know. And um, otherwise, uh, I'll see you at my next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.